This is Tony Preckwinkle, President of the Cook County Board of Commissioners. And you're with us for Transportation Tuesday. Thank you for joining us. And we have with us is our guest, John Yonan, Superintendent of Transportation and Highways. Welcome, John. Yes, thank you, Madam President. And you're going to tell mm -hmm. us about the Skokie Valley Trail. That's correct. So this project is a 4.2 mile gap in a 20 mile trail system that goes from Lake County into Cook County and through some of the municipalities that are listed on the map that's behind us here. The red outline circle is the gap that is in that 20 mile trail that is, as I said, 4.2 miles that would connect the village of Northfield, Wilmette, Glenview and Skokie. All right, so this is in northern Cook County, northeastern Cook County. That's correct. The northern boundary is Lake Cook Road. The northern boundary is Lake Cook Road, and in Lake County, um, a lot of the trail is already built all the way up to Lake Bluff, which is a village that's up in Lake County. And what we're going to build is a bridge across a very large, you know, stretch of roadway, which is our Lake Cook Road project and that will be the final piece of the overall trail that's going to connect the 20 miles. There's a bridge between two A pedestrian counties, bridge. A pedestrian and other users of the road, which include it being, you know, ADA accessible so that we won't just have this, you know, a bridge that's going to be, you know, used by bicyclists exclusively. So all users will be able to enjoy the, the bridge crossing. So this is a trail, which means it's for bikes and hiking. And yes, so multi-use trail is the term that we use in the industry. And as you stated, you know, a lot of times some of these trails are designated for many users. And what we've also outlined in this map is that these municipalities have a lot of off-system trails that are going to schools, work centers, religious institutions that would be connected with this trail being completed. And so those kinds of connections is where we feel that the investments that Cook County has made is helping a system-wide improvement to bring you know, these communities to realize the value of multimodal transportation options. Okay, so these are like streams that feed into the river, the other paths and stuff to go off the trail. That's correct. Segments of it have been built in Lake County because of the many trails and the forest preserve system in Lake County where investments have been made right to the Cook border. This trail is actually going to be on some repurposed Union Pacific right away, along with some ComEd right away, which tend to be a little bit of a challenge for one municipality, once again, to just complete a trail to their municipal border. Then another municipality has to negotiate with these same Union Pacific and ComEd the right away. And the the railroads and the utilities. Right, and Cook County instead was able to be able to take all four municipalities and collaborate with where the trail needs to go and work with these two you know, railroads and uh, utility to be able to identify any kind of agreements, liability, along with moving the preliminary engineering along. John, you know that several yeah. years ago, uh, we put together for the county a long-range transportation plan. So how does this project fit into that plan? So, well, first off, since your leadership has brought the long-range transportation plan into, you know, opportunities where there are initiatives that are part of that long-range transportation plan, that's what Invest in Cook is. Again, realizing that every one of these municipalities to be able to take this project and advance it was going to be a challenge. And so back in 2017, the village led by Will Matt put an application in for a 2017 Invest in Cook application that we went and funded it to $188,000. Now again, why this project? Well, because in our long range transportation plan, our number one policy priority in that plan is to make investments in transit and multimodal transportation. Our plan really put a priority on making investments that are multimodal and have transit alternatives as part of them. So this trail will connect you next to some transit stations. So if you wanted to hop on your bicycle and then get on a train or a bus. Okay, what's the time frame for completing this? So this project is right now in the design phase, which is the phase where we put together the plans that would go out for construction bid. And right now we are scheduled to be able to possibly break ground late next year, 2021, or sometime early spring of 2022. 
Well, yeah. listen, I'm very grateful for your yeah. explanation thank of you. uh, what's going on here on the Skokie Valley Trail. That's well, thank you very much for joining us and for sharing information about what uh, the Department of Transportation and Highways is up to. Yeah. And thank we you. thank you for joining us for Transportation Tuesday. You can find out more about our work at connectingcookcounty.org. That's connectingcookcounty.org.